you did mention about the magnets and the controversy. So what's the controversy? Well... Advance make their flight deck, which is uh, ooh, it's looking a little bit muddy. It's been, been well used today. So I have on there, been flying with that, and uh, it has Navito UDN on there. Uh, you can see plenty more space for other instruments as well, but uh, today I just had my one. And it's got a, a magnetic um, lift top, which actually is quite useful. Um, there is some controversy about magnets, but hey, we won't go there. Um, <laughs> inside, I've been shoving all sorts of things in there, but um, so I've got a little bag of my sort of useful snacks, um, always need my snacks. And I've got my helmet bag empty uh, to put my helmet back into, and then some other bits and pieces to do with my um, camera equipment, and also the, the OD case just to protect that. And inside you've also got um, a, zipped, a zipped pocket as well. So you can actually secure things if you want to, and it's in, the three different sections and you've got an elasticated bit you've got, what have you got in well. there you've got everything inside yeah there. oh yeah it's, it's, a, it's, it's like a, a tardis you really can fit quite a lot in there actually the other time i flew with it i put in the um the whole advanced tube bag light in there concertina bag because i didn't actually have all my other gubbins so i thought right well i'll put the stuff my concertina bag into there so uh, but yeah very nice and you just have uh, the clips on the side i've actually left the clips uh, on the harness so it uh, it goes around the the carabiner and sits very nicely uh, and you have the last feature as well is it has its own hat so you can bring that round and protect your flight instrument which is quite important when you've got a big screen like you have on the OD. And that's just a kind of bit of uh, stretchy Neoprene, material is it? Yeah. Yeah, it's not neoprene, I think it's just to kind of stretch it. It's similar to a speed bag it material, is like, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, that's like the material you have on a speed bag. Yes. Yeah. And there is a carry handle there as well. The thing with flight decks like this, on pretty much just about all flight decks, is that on the harness it's difficult to get them to sit right. They often sit like that forwards or, or too far back. It's mostly they sit too far forwards. And how were you finding this today? It was almost perfect, but not quite yes, perfect. Because it's sitting a little too far Just, forward. Uh, yeah, like that. because yeah. To, to view the screen, I would have needed it to have been a little bit more upright. Yeah, and I think the reason for that is we we were trying to work out exactly with the best place to connect it onto the harness, and I don't think we'd actually put it onto the best no, case. No, because there is actually some little special um, loops that we hadn't yet tried. That's right, and, and I, I think, think it, yeah. it might be that it was actually better there to yes. sit on that. So then what happens is, because they've advanced of shape of the flight deck, so then it pushes against the harness and then sits more upright. Only one thing I would have liked to have seen is that on the back here where this carry handle is, um, and something that you could actually do quite easily, but I would have liked to have seen a little something to clip on there. So quite often on um, on pod harnesses, you can see quite often with the flight deck, they have a little clip back here yeah. to clip to the weight strap. And that's what makes the flight deck sit at a, at a nice angle. Because mm. quite often, even on the pod harnesses, the cockpits don't sit quite right, or they go behind the waist strap or something like that. And that by clipping it onto the waist strap, that would be quite nice. But what I think you could do quite easily is just get a little Velcro loop and uh, or a clip. Just mm. put a clip on there, that would do yes. it. Yeah. And clip it onto the waist strap. Nancy thought about putting the the the, waist tra the leg straps of the harness through here, but it's too small. That would kind of restrict the movement, so that wouldn't be a good idea. So, But yeah, what you could do is just by having um, a little clip and clip that on. And I think that would hold it really nicely to yes. there. Yeah. No, that's it. That's one little thing. Yeah. In I, fact, the the, the Super uh, cockpit range do, does come with with those features with mm. the little sort of loops for yeah. that. So they've they've thought a little bit more about uh, universal sort of fitting onto different harnesses. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Again, the build quality of this, the Advance is really fantastic. Superb build quality, 
Um, you did mention about the magnets and the controversy of it. I think really you can't leave people hanging like that, Nancy. <laughs> so what's the controversy? Well, it just that if you, because the magnet is here, if you're a pilot that flies with a, a sort of traditional compass. Traditional? Traditional. You mean uh, magnetic? A, yes. A, physical a, a compass. ball yeah. compass. Yeah. Then it, you may find it might, it might affect the. Uh, direction of your compass yeah but uh, it certainly doesn't have any issue with the instruments we tend to find nowadays if you're gonna if we fly with a little compass a little ball compass or something then we prefer to attach it onto up here on the shoulder onto strap the or something like that yeah because the flight deck is where you put your instruments we feel um, plus also um, by making sure you just charge your batteries and don't let them run out plus nowadays like on the flight deck here there's two holes for you to run cables through so you you've got a, a power bank so your your instrument should never go flat and the instrument is always better than the physical compass because the physical compass only tells you which way you're pointing it doesn't tell you which way you're traveling so it just tells you you're pointing in a direction but it doesn't tell you actually which way you're going um, whereas the instrument tells you both where you're pointing and also the way that you're traveling um, plus, of course, it's got the airspace in it and all that. So, okay, so that's, that's good. the advanced flight deck. <laughs> <laughs>